Hey, have you ever had to travel with your guitar but you're not sure what to do with it? Do you store it away? Do you pack it in the luggage? Do you take it on board in the overhead? What do you do with it? Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Nick. Welcome back to the One Guitarist channel. I'm going to talk to you today about traveling with your guitar. Uh, I've traveled quite a bit around the world myself and I've taken my guitar with me on quite a few times. There are a few different ways that you can take it on board. Some people have flight cases that they use. It's a very, very hard, sturdy metal case that's used for flights. Um, that's pretty good if you want to check it in with your luggage. Some people take, if they have a smaller guitar, some people take it in like a little gig bag, like a little padded soft case, and try to take it on board the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the overheads. Uh, that can work sometimes. However, it's not really safe. Sometimes it gets smashed in there and those things are always packed to the gills. You don't want a good guitar smashed in there. Other people take it on board and try to put it in the, what they call the, the closet up front, where they have the, uh, uh, some of the crew keeps their things. Now, there are a few different ways to go about this. Me personally, what I will do is I will take it in a hard shell case and I'll carry it on board with me. I'll check it in, you know, at the, at the security. Let them know, take, have, let them take a look at it, whatever, and then I'll carry it on board. There's kind of like a guideline that went out to the, air, to the flight crews not too long ago, about like maybe 10 years ago, saying that if there was room up front in the closet, that they're allowed to store, they can, or they're supposed to do what they can to accommodate people who are bringing instruments on board, as long as there's room for it. Unfortunately, what ends up happening with that, and I've seen it before, some guitar players will bring their case on there, and it's, and they come on there with this attitude with the flight crew, like, here, I hold the law, and you gotta put this in your locker, so go do your job, and blah, and they get this crappy attitude. Well, <laughs> that's not really gonna do much for, for getting them to help you out. Here's why, because they don't really have to put it up there for you, they can if there's room, if there's room. If you come on there with an attitude about something, they're magically going to say that there's no room in there for you because they'll make sure that there's no room for you. So what's gonna end up happening? You can either get off the plane or your thing is gonna get thrown, probably not very nicely into the luggage with everybody else's stuff. Uh, just like anything, you go up there, what I'll do is I'll go and ask them and say, hey, um, I really, really, this is a really nice guitar of mine. I'd really, really appreciate it if you could take a minute and see if you can find some room for you up front. Um, in your closet because I'd rather not pack it downstairs. So if you could help me out, I'd really appreciate it. And you know what? Yes, it's not guaranteed that somebody is going to help you out every single time. But if you do that and you come off like a nice person, you act nice about it, it's a lot more likely that if they can, they will find a space for you. I've never had a problem with that so far. Um, the situation could come across where they just actually don't have it. Um, but most of the time, just like anything, if you ask for help and you, you're nice about it, you're really, uh, you're really understanding, They'll probably be the same way too, so don't be a don't be a jerk when you bring your guitar on board. Um, but that's the way that I travel with it. If I had a few different guitars, if I'm traveling for a show or touring or something that's different than you, you you plan for things like that. and You get a big flight case for it. Most of the time when I travel, I'm just taking a hard shell case. Um, probably not a flight case; it's too heavy. But just a regular hard shell case, for protective case, so that if it does have to go down in the what they call it, the galley valley or something, with the other stuff, it's uh, it's still protected somewhat. But uh, that's the way I'll travel with. Anyways, those are my quick uh, travel guitar tips for you. Um, let me know in the comments if you've had to travel your guitar before, if you have any other things that you like to do. Uh, some people never take it on board. Some people never check it in. Some people have it shipped. There's all different ways to do to, uh, to go about that. So let me know your thoughts on traveling with your guitar. And uh, thanks. I'll see you in the next show.